For some reason, um, this card, shine, you are made of stardust. So keep sparkling. Solar plexus chakra, you are the star. So that's interesting. It's funny, I thought that was going to be an earthy uh, message because of the color, but it's not. It's all about you. So keep shining. You know, it could mean just keep going. Um, it could mean that you're inspiring somebody, you know, and you don't even know it. All right. That's what I'm seeing there. Okay. All right. We're going to start with the Witch's Tarot because that deck shuffled so easily for you um, on the pre-shuffle. Every time I, I looked at the bottom of the deck, there you were. So we're going to use this deck, okay, for a, to begin. We use the other ones to clarify. So what's at issue for Aquarius, please, for Aquarius Collective? For the majority of people who will be watching this reading, what is relevant for them? What's relevant and important, please? Aquarius, please. All right, so this is calling out. I will get one from the other side it didn't enthusiastically jump out. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that did. All right, so I'm going to leave those there. This is interesting. A Pisces could definitely... Okay, so we got Pisces and Leo. <laughs> Capricorn, Sag, and Gemini. All right. So um, Pisces and Leo, though, are the two main cards that I see there. It could be um, that a Pisces is in and out, or it could be that a Leo is holding back some major emotion for you. Um, I don't know why I see that. I mean, you are guarded as heck. You're ready for battle for some reason. All right, let me get a clarifier on the issue. Okay, so we're going to get a clarifier on the issue. The issue came up as the Leo, the Knight of Wands, came out right away. The King of Cups also flipped, so that's Pisces. As I mentioned, it could be that a Pisces is in and out, but I'm seeing it more as a Leo or a Pisces or Leo holding in a lot of emotion they have for you, okay? Can we have a clarification on the issue for Aquarius, please? Okay, so uh, there's a lot of, for some reason, um, choices, earth sign, nice, Leo again getting a victory. Okay, so... Um, now, so we've got uh, Venus and Scorpio, we've got the King of Pentacles, the world, and uh, Jupiter in Leo. I'm going to read this two ways. It could be, believe it or not, that a Leo is trying to figure out how to shift into a stable cycle with you. That's interpretation number one. Interpretation number two is that you could be choosing... Um, to end something or to go, to end something and go into another cycle because what you want is stability, okay? And a Leo could be involved or an earth sign. Um, what I'm seeing with you guys is uh, Aquarius. I'm seeing Aquarius involved with earth, Aquarius involved with Leo, um, and some aqua involved with Pisces. Okay. I just, you know, what I'm also thinking is that some of the channel members are Pisces who are involved with Leo, but uh, you guys are breaking into Aqua's reading right now, okay? Um, all right. This is interesting. Okay, so, Aqua. <laughs> We're not going to let anyone invade your reading. Okay, as, as mentally strong as Pisces are. Okay, so let's get the challenge. What's the challenge here, please? What's the challenge here, please? What's the challenge for Aquarius in this situation, please? What's the challenge for Aquarius? What's the challenge for the Aquarius Collective? What's challenging Aqua? Definitely not on that side. Okay, what is challenging Aqua, please? What's challenging okay, so that is? Uh, a Pisces again could be challenging you guys. So, um, look, just put very simply, the challenge could be getting your wish. The challenge could be um, a person, a uh, challenge could be a Pisces. I mean, Pisces is coming out very strong here. Okay, Pisces and Leo are coming out very strong in this reading. Um, let's see what's crowning your reading, guys. 
What is crowning Aquarius's reading, please? What's crowning Aquarius's reading? Marriage? So, <laughs> some of you could be involved with the Taurus. I'm seeing marriage and commitment for you guys. Wow. Beautiful. Okay, Aqua. Let's see what's affecting um, your reading on a subconscious level. What is affecting your reading on a subconscious level? So this could be about Aqua and Taurus, but for the rest of you, it's about stability, marriage, and commitment with your person, with Leo, Pisces. All right. It's coming in on a subconscious level. Please, what's affecting Aqua's reading on a subconscious level? I don't think it's on that side. What's affecting Aqua's reading on a subconscious level, please? This may be. Maybe. This, yes. Ooh, nice. Um, so some of you could be involved with the Sag, but I'm seeing an unexpected, good, wonderful change. This is something really good that you do not expect. All right. Um, for these aquas that we're reading for, may we please have a hint about the recent past so that they know that this is their reading? May we please have a hint about the recent past so that we know that this is their reading? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, this is the card here. <laughs> it's you. Okay, so Aqua. Um, there may have been some trickery in the past or some cheating. Um, oh, geez, Virgo, uh, that you uncovered or Virgo could be involved and you took off, you hit the road, because there's the Six of Swords. Interesting. An Earth sign may have been involved. Can we get something else in the recent past for Aquarius, for our other Aquarius, please? Recent past relevant to this reading for our other Aquas. Um, I really think I should look at this top card. Okay, so and this is the second time that the... Um, King of Pentacles has come out. A Virgo is definitely relevant to some of these Aquarians, okay? Or just stability. Um, I'm seeing two cards of Virgo there in the past. Two cards of Aqua and two cards. Sorry, Aqua. Continuing. The ones that I'm mainly seeing, I'm seeing Aqua and Virgo. Aqua and Pisces. Aqua and Leo, all right? And I'm seeing commitment crowning your reading, which is great. And this is unexpected. Okay. All right. Are you ready for your outcome? I am. <clears throat> this has got to flip, okay? Can we have an accurate outcome for our Aquarius, please? Can we have an accurate outcome for our Aquarius? That's being handed to me, Aqua, so I'm going to take it. All right? Wow. Well, for those of you dealing with Leo, I believe your victory is right here. This is them acknowledging the relationship, um, <clears throat> acknowledging you, acknowledging everything. This is, this is victory, and there's two victories there. There's two laurel wreaths. So, Aqua, um, what I'm going to do, <clears throat> this doesn't mean that it's, it's only a victory for Aqua and Virgo. It's, it's a victory for all of you, for Aqua and Virgo. Aqua and Leo, Aqua and Pisces. If, if there was a Taurus there, Aqua and Taurus. Okay, so Virgo, Taurus, Pisces, Leo. These are, this is a victory for you and all those signs. Um, whichever one you, whichever Aqua you are. Okay.